Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about web app and we're going to talk about how we can call our Google Apps Script functions. So I got a couple examples here of different functions we're going to call. The first one's going to go get data off a of Google Sheet, just one cell. My next call is going to do multi-data. That means it's going to grab a few cells of data and bring it to my web app. And in my last example, I'm going to put data in, and then it's going to take that data, call a Google Apps Script function, and return data. So in this example, I'm just going to put something here. I'm going to call it data in. And my cell, my one cell data, I'm going to go to my Google Sheet here, is going to pull A1 here, which has one in it. And my multi-data cell here is going to pull in these three cells a1 b1 and c1 and then this data is going to come in and then I'm going to have some outbound data coming in from this coming in so I'm going to click the button and here we have our one populated or one two three populated my data in and then my in data says data in and I could switch this to say something else. Click get data. And it's going to say my end data is something else. So I'm just going to show you how I put this together. Just some good examples how you can get data from your Google Sheets, how you can call a Google Apps script and get data back out as well, back to your web app. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I am on my Google spreadsheet. It is named Web App Function Call up here, and I have a sheet named Sheet 1. And in this sheet, I just have data in A1, B1, and C1 with 1, 2, 3. And I'm using this as my example just to pull data. I'll make it very simple calls to show you how data moves from your spreadsheet to the web app. So let's get started with the Google app script. I'm going to go to tools, script editor. I'm going to give this a name. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in the code and I'm going to provide this in the comments in the video so you can go ahead and copy it as well. The first thing I'll be copying is the Google app script code. So that is copied. I'm going to save it. Next I'm going to name the HTML page. So I'm going to go over here, say new HTML file. And I'm going to name it web app, which is the same name that's up here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And hit OK. And it's going to create me a basic HTML page. And next I'm going to copy in my HTML JavaScript code. OK, I have that copied. I'm going to start with my Google Apps script code in this first function, the do get. That starts up my HTML page. This is a Google Apps script function that is required to deploy a web app. So this do get is needed, and what this does is it renders this HTML page called web app. So that's the first thing it's done when I, it is published. The next thing I'll do is I'm going to go down to my HTML code down on the bottom here. And I'm going to be looking at the body tags here. So what I have is a label of one cell data with a text area. And I got multi data label with a text area multi data. I got the in data with the input text of in data and an out data with another text area to show the out data and a button with an on click trigger event called call data and the name of my button is get data so that is my html part now my javascript part and when the button is clicked i'm using this call data which calls this function and within that it is calling these functions here So the first one is it's calling is call one cell data, which is up here, this function. I can highlight it here. And what it's doing is it's using this Google Apps Script with Success Handler to call a Google Apps Script function. 
and that function is named get one cell data. As you can see, I'm not passing any data in here. I am just calling this function. So I'm going to go back to my Google App script, which is what it's calling, the function get one cell data. Here I am setting my active spreadsheet, SS object. I'm grabbing my sheet object with sheet one, and I am getting the data or getting the value from range A1, which is one cell. And then that data, what I'm getting is I'm returning back. So that data comes back to the JavaScript code into this return data. I'm enclosing this with a function in here. And this function is returning that data. And then from that point, we can do what we want with it. But what I'm doing is I'm setting the text area, one cell data with that return data. And this ID one cell data is referenced here on this text box. So that is getting populated here. So my next function that's getting called, and that is the end of that function. So the next one I got called is called multi-cell data. So again, same thing, it's calling this, it's calling this Google Apps Script function. And what I'm calling is get multi-cell data. I am not passing anything in. Go over to my Google Apps Script, get multi-cell data, again, spreadsheet, declaring my sheet, and this time I'm grabbing a range of data, A1, C1, and saying get values. Now what this does is it's binding, I'll return that. What this does is it's binding that data together into an array. So instead of data being a string field, this is actually an array field. So I'm returning that array, and what that array is, I'm going to go with my Google Sheet here, the array will be 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2 would be the index of this array. So that goes, passes us back over here and comes into here. So I have this as return array. You can name this anything you really want. I'm just naming it return array so you have an understanding of what's coming back. I'm doing a console log here, which that is used for debugging. So you can see the data coming into your web app. And I can show you that when I get this thing up and running. This console log is not required. You don't need it in here to get the thing that you want done. But it's good for viewing the data that's coming through. And then from there, I'm taking that return data and I'm turning it into a string. And what that's doing is that it's putting a comma between each array value and, and binding it into one string. And the reason I'm doing this string is so I can display the data into my text area, which is called multi-data down here. So that's why you see the comma in between the three values. It's this two string that's doing that and then I'm displaying the string here. So that's what I'm doing to display the data. The next thing that's being called is call in out data. And what I'm doing here is I'm, this is the function call in and out data. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm getting the in data from this ID. I'm grabbing the value here. So if I go down here, I get the in data here from this input box. And what I'm doing there is I'm calling this Google Apps Script function called get in out data. And this, I'm putting in the in data. I'm passing that in data to the Google Apps Script. So I go to the Google Apps Script, get in out data. I'm, that's declared, that's coming in. Now for my out data, I'm declaring, I'm just saying what is coming in. So I'm adding this concatenating in data colon concatenation to the in data and then I'm returning out data back out. And then what I'm doing with that out data here is I'm assigning it to the text area of out data. 
So this is an example of how you can bring data in and then bring it back out. You can do any kind of process within this function or a whole bunch of processes. But that's how you bring it in and bring it back out. And then from there, I'm sending it to this out data text area. So that kind of goes through this whole code section now. What I'll do is I'll publish it. So I go to Publish, Deploy Web App. I'm going to hit New. And I'm going to hit Deploy. I'm going to go through the permissions. Select my account. Select Advanced. Select the Web App Function Call. I'm going to allow it to edit, create, and delete my spreadsheet. Here is my URL to my spreadsheet. I'm going to go ahead and bypass that. I'm going to be using the development URL instead. So now I have this pulled up. It says dev here. What I'm going to do is I could put some data here. Something. I'm going to hit get data. and It's going to fill in all the functions we set up here. I'm going to go over here and show you that console log, more tools, developer tools. And here you can see this array, which you got the one, two, three coming in. And I'm setting that right here. So that's just an example of the console log where you can see what's coming through. Another thing with this, with the URL, this is the one you could use for what I would say your production type thing, the one you, if multiple users were using, this is the one you give out. But if you're just testing your code and you want to do a quick change and test it, you can hit this latest code. If you do a change to your code and you want to get another revision out there, you got to go publish, deploy, web app to get a new URL of your change. You hit project vision, you hit new, you give it a name, version 2, hit update, now you got another URL with all your changes there. But if you're doing quick changes, just to check out all the different types of changes you're making and you just want a quick change without doing the revision, you can hit latest code. And it'll give you just a quick reference of what you changed. That concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.